Hi everyone, it's Kylie Pertel back again with another technique for you. This time I'm using brushes and embossing powder to create this beautiful card you see with a nice glittery accent in the sentiment. So I'm using watercolour card, uh, the Happy Little Stampers Butterfly Birthday Set, uh, three colours of brushes which is turquoise, cobalt blue and grey. So I'm going to start by using my de-static tool on my cardstock and I'm going to randomly stamp the butterfly in Versamark ink. Now the trick to this is actually turning your stamp around so you can get a really nice pattern going plus fill in those spaces a lot easier than if you're trying to stamp it normally. So I'm going ahead and embossing my panel in uh, its wow bright white embossing powder which I need more of I love it I use it a lot and then just heat setting the powder don't you love watching embossing powder set I do <laughs> so now you can see I've got my embossed butterflies all over the card and what we're going to do is use a bit of the smooshing technique so I'm going to use the turquoise colour first of my brushes by sprinkling some on my craft mat, then spritzing it with water to activate those crystals. Then all I'm going to do is place the card face down, so the embossing face down into that ink, and you can see already the effect that it's having. This is a great technique, whether you're using images like these butterflies or a large sentiment or anything really, it's a, a wonderful way of creating your backgrounds. So I'm just heat setting in between my smooching at the moment and what you'll find is be very, very careful because obviously I'm using the heat gun on that panel that has embossing. So I'm basically heating the embossing again. So you have to be very careful when you pick it up that you don't touch those areas because you will smear the embossing powder off your paper. So in between your smooches, once you've embossed something, just let it dry for a few seconds, about 10 seconds, and then you can carry on with what you are doing. So I'm just going to pick up some more of that turquoise colour. And the benefit of drying in between your smooching of your, your ink is that you get those extra technique, that the extra pattern and the watercolour feel on your paper. So next I'm using the grey and I'm just putting that in a couple of areas on the card. I didn't want it to overtake the blue. But you'll see that it will look fantastic once I add the darker blue, the cobalt blue, on top of it. And you can even be um, selective where you smooch. Um, I wanted a little bit more in that centre butterfly, so I just plop that down straight into the ink. Now, plop that down straight into the ink is the technical term. <laughs> I'm not sure if you've heard that before. And there's my finished panel. And now I just want to basically put it all together. So I've die cut my smile die three times just out of ordinary white cardstock and then once out of glitter cardstock because what I'm going to do is glue all those together to create dimension. It looks fantastic. So when I use my glue I just use little dots just so I have a bit more control over where the glue is going and it doesn't spread everywhere when I'm gluing everything together. So there's my smile all finished up. I've cut a small strip of paper where I want to stamp the sentiment from the butterfly, but butterfly birthday set. And then you will see that I did trim that up a little bit more. I didn't want it covering the full length of width of the card. So you will see once it's all together, it has been trimmed just slightly. Now I use dimensional tape 
on the back of my panel to adhere it to my uh, card base double-sided tape just to uh, adhere the strip sentiment onto my embossed panel and all I did was in the same fashion was use little glue dots to adhere the smile die straight onto that panel as well. Now this card was inspired by Sarah who I met last July at the Happy Little Stampers craft retreat. What a brilliant weekend that was. So thank you Sarah for your inspiration. I adore the card that you sent me. Absolutely love it. And there you go. I've just added a few more enamel dots onto that. And uh, that was it. It's, it's a wonderful card. Very, very easy to make. It takes no time at all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.